tobacco is a major killer. I mean, it kills about 700,000 people each year in Europe, which corresponds to the size of a medium city like Valencia. Well, we're talking about six million people worldwide who die every year as a result of smoking. That's like a whole country like Denmark being lost every year. If that was happening as a cars or in air crashes, we would say this has to stop now. The aim of the tobacco directive is to stop a new generation of smokers from being recruited. Well, at the moment, about 28% of adults smoke, but 29% of young people smoke. In other words, there's more young people smoking than adults. The tobacco industries are glamorizing the tobacco consumption, and we need to contrast them and to avoid the tobacco becomes more than it is now a fashionable habit among women. And we want big picture warnings on the cigarettes that deter young people from smoking. The pictures only appear in some European countries because it's, at the moment it's voluntary. The new law would make it mandatory in all countries and the warnings would have to take up to 75% of the package surface. So much bigger warnings are mandatory. That is what would change. In uh, Brazil, for instance, about uh, uh, half of the consumption of smoking was reduced. And this was achieved through a combination of measures, including uh, uh, increased warnings on tobacco packs, including prohibition of smoking in public places, including increase of price. We're having a special event in the European Parliament to, to mark World No Smoking Day. We want to raise awareness about what we can do to deter smokers from smoking. It's a crucial moment to strengthen the Tobacco Products Directive to bring it in line with the WHO Framework Convention on Tobacco Control. Why? Because we know those measures do work. I would like to concentrate on the key elements of the revision. No longer, hopefully, will we see slim cigarettes, lipstick style cigarettes, where you hardly see a warning. For example, menthol, sugar, and all this thing makes the tobacco uh, fume comfortable, and that is what I don't want. I want that tobacco tastes like tobacco. We want electronic cigarettes on the market, but we want them to be safe. In the Commission's view, the ideal framework is the regulatory framework of pharmaceuticals. All the people who've contacted me about this are ex-smokers who have stopped smoking and switched to electronic cigarettes. So they have not given up their nicotine habit, but they have given up smoking tobacco. Our priority, uh, the public health community's priority actually in, in this, is to protect children from starting to smoke. Political support and determination has been one of the most important success factors of the national tobacco control. 